friends. So we are, uh, we have a bit of a situation. <laughs> And it's time to come clean. I can't, I can't avoid it. I can't lie about it. We gotta talk about it. So about a year ago, I did a video called These Books Will Self-Destruct in a Year. And the idea is I had to read those books within a year or I had to unhaul them. Now, <laughs> when most people do this video, they put books that they don't have a huge interest in reading. So they have no qualms unhauling them if they haven't read them in a year. I, I didn't do that. I did, I think, half books that I wasn't very interested in reading and half books that I was really interested in reading and I did the list as a way to motivate myself to read them. Are you crackers? What? <laughs> what is going through your brain, Megan, to do this? So we now have reached a year. I know. I have not read all the books on this list. I can't remember all of them, but I know for sure there's at least one or two that I still really want to read. And I, I'm not going to unhaul. Run the clip, we know what's happening. <laughs> the rules don't apply. I'm not going to unhaul them. I, I want to read these books, they're on my TV. I'm not unhauling them. I don't care. I'm not unhauling them. So we're going to find out what the books are in today's video. And I will have read some of them. And the ones that I haven't read, I'm giving myself two chances to read. I've got a series in December which is coming, some of you may know, <laughs> which I think a lot of these books will fall under. So they have a chance to be read in that. And, you know, they may be read, may not be, you know the series. And then I'm gonna do a video in January or February next year where I have the chance to read some of these. If I don't read them by then, then they are getting unhauled. I promise you 100% they're getting unhauled if I have not read them by then. I don't trust her. I don't think she's a good person. But. I'm not unhauling the ones I want to read. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Okay, shall we just get into it? I think there was eight or 10 books in this video. I'm not sure how many. This one's risky because I know there's a high chance that I am not going to read this, but oh. it's one of the books I want to read most. But I just, again, like I don't fit it into videos. It's one of the books I look at daily and I think I need to read you. And it's <gasps> Unwell Women by Eleanor Cleghorn. She's only gone and read it. I've read it. <laughs> Okay, I have read Unwell Women, The A Journey Through Medicine and Myth in a Man-Made World by Anna Claire Korn. I didn't love this. Hang on, let me take the headphones off when I don't need them. <laughs> I didn't love this as much as I wanted to. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. It's non-fiction and I just felt like it was a little, it didn't go into quite as much depth as I wanted to and I just felt like some of its points didn't quite follow through enough, right? With non-fiction, especially one that is like historical, you know, making a point, I just really need like all of your points to meet and match up and like coalesce into this amazing piece of work and I didn't feel like this necessarily did. I would still recommend it. It would just felt a little bit lacking for me. I think I gave it like a 3.5. Like I still enjoyed a lot of it. 3, 3.54, something in there. <laughs> it wasn't bad but I do think there's probably better non-fiction about this subject out there but at the same time I'm glad that I have read it. I feel like I did learn some stuff from it but it wasn't incredible but I've read it. <laughs> Oh my god. How many do we think I'm gonna have read? I think I'm going to have read half. Okay, then one of the books I'm less interested in is The Wife Between Us Ooh. by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. This is one of the oldest books on my TBR. It's okay, I have not read The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I don't even have a scoop where that book is. Shall I try and find it? The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen is now one of the oldest books on my TBR. I would be happy to unhaul this. I could unhaul this right now. Do I just unhaul it? Actually, mm, <laughs> I don't know. There is there is those two videos that it fits perfectly. No, we're gonna save it and then, but if, it, if I have not read this by February, I don't care about unhauling this. It can get gone, you know? But I think for the videos that I'm gonna be doing, it would be interesting to hold on to it and see. I bought this in like a charity shop when I'd read like 10 books. <laughs> I was at the beginning of my reading journey, like rereading journey, because I stopped reading for a couple years and I was trying to figure out what I like. And I bought this in a charity shop on a whim because I think I'd heard like one person speak about it. And I just discovered I don't like domestic thrillers. It's not for me, Mark. I'm, I feel terribly ill all of a sudden. I am not usually interested in books about husbands and wives. I just don't give a fuck. Honestly, I don't care. I don't care. I hate the tropes that appear again and again and again in domestic thrillers. Like, Let's try and think of one I enjoyed. Someone said the guest list once. The guest list is not a domestic thriller. Yes, you have a husband and wife in it, but like the book is not about that. It's when it's a book about a husband and wife dynamic, or in this case, husband and wives. <laughs> I'm just not interested. And I didn't love The Golden Couple. I think I gave that two stars by Grey Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. So yeah, I'm not bothered about this. I could unhaul it. 
Do I just unhaul it? No, 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 no. I've told you what we're doing. We're doing those two videos and then we're unhauling if I haven't read any. So this could easily face the chopping block. But yeah, this was one that I think, this is the kind of book I should put on this list. Books I don't care about unhauling if they come up. Unlike some of the other books we're gonna encounter, which like you have to pry them from my dead cold hands in order for me to unhaul them. Yes, I haven't read them in the year where I've I've had a, over a year to read them because at this point I've owned them for a long time if they're on this list. Yes, I have had over a year to read them, but that doesn't mean I can just get rid of them. They're there for a reason. Their moment will come. <laughs> then one of the ones that I am most excited to read, and I feel like I've spoken about this quite a lot recently, is And the Trees shit. Crept In by Dawn Kurtigich. Shit, 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 shit. Haven't read it. This is the one I was thinking of. This and like one other book that I, that are the only ones I know are on this list and they're ones I know I haven't read. Oh my God, guys. My bookshelves are like, they're in trouble at the moment. I own too many books. I need to move out. Right, we have And the Trees Crept In by Dawn Kurtigich. I have not read it yet. <laughs> that alone tells you how stupid you are. This is like a, I think, it is it YA? I think so, YA horror about these siblings who move into their aunt's home in the woods and it's creepy and there's lots of like weird writing on the page and it sounds incredible and I think this is a five star prediction for me. Yes, I have not read it yet. But we're not, like, you can't ask me to unhaul this. You can't. You. That's why we're not doing it. You can't ask me to unhaul it. That would be, like, illegal. But I promise I will if I haven't read it by February. So I've only got, like, three more months. These books will self-destruct in 15 months. Should have been the title. Because that's the truth. I have had amazing things from everyone who has read this. And I, you know, I'm a little bit of a scaredy girl. So, like, <laughs> in order for me to enjoy horror, it has to be YA or camp basically. I don't like adult horror that's like serious, like super serious. I can deal with a little bit of silliness. It only has to be a sprinkle, but it helps me detach from the horror. So I'm, I've got big hopes for this and you can't ask me to unhaul it. You might have think at the start of the video, like, oh Megan, you're really, you're letting us down by not unhauling these books. And then you see that I haven't read this yet and you go, okay, we can't ask her to do that. You, you can't. You can't ask me to do that. One of the ones that, I don't know if I'm gonna read this next year, <laughs> but it's one of the ones I'm less Ooh. interested in. Okay. The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. No. Okay, okay, okay. The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. Haven't read her. Oh. These books, I have no idea where they are. Okay, we're not doing the best, are we? I've read one, haven't read three. <laughs> Um, the Cousins by Karen McManus, haven't read. This would be another one I would be happy to unhaul, but it could serve a purpose and there's other videos. So again, we're not doing that. I have no idea what this is about. I know everyone, again, I think I said in that video, everyone says to start with the One of Us is Lying series from Karen McManus. I think I got this in a book box. I would never have really picked this up on my own, but I also, it's the kind of book that I'm like, oh, do I? Like, I just feel, I don't know why I feel hesitation around unhauling it because I could enjoy Karen and McManus stuff in the future and then I regret unhauling this. You see the predicament that I'm in. It's about a family, four children are suddenly dropped by their mother with a single sentence, you know what you did. Okay. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of this one. Have you read this? Have you read other Karen and McManus? And you're like, Megan, just do not bother reading The Cousins. Cause that's what some people have told me. But again, I, I do enjoy a good YA mystery and I want to support the cause. The more YA mysteries we have, the better, you know? I must have read whatever the next one is. I can't, I can't have not read another one. Okay, this one, <sighs> this is probably one of the books I'm most embarrassed about not having oh, read. I must have read this. And it's Wild Beauty by okay. Amy Macmore. Boo! Okay, I've read it, I've read it. I finally read Wild Beauty, where's that? Okay, we've read another one. I finally read Wild Beauty by Anna Macamore. I did enjoy this. I think this was like a four star. I'm glad to have finally begun reading Anna Macamore because I feel like their stuff is stuff I'm gonna love, but I just hadn't gotten around to reading any of their books. This one's about this like family of girls and a boy and there's magic. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you should kind of go into this knowing nothing. I kind of went into this going nothing. There's grandmothers, there's flowers <laughs> and um yeah I, I love anything that's kind of magical realism -y, and I feel like there's not enough out there so I'm glad to have begun my journey with Anime Macmore and the writing was beautiful this had been one of the books that I had been like this is a five-star prediction for the longest amount of time so like I had to read it if I hadn't read this we would have had problems I actually might have deleted my channel because <laughs> this had been a five-star prediction for me for like forever so Okay, we've read another one. That's not bad. Then one of the ones that I'm less excited in reading, this is one that my excitement has dissipated over the years, <gasps> is Educated by Tara Westover. Oh, I know. I could... Oh shit, okay. 
We're three for three. On top, top of the pyramid, pyramid going, going three, three for three, three is Maddie. Maddie. Uh, by the way, I can't stand as far back as I usually would because there's, uh, there's just so many books at the floor. On the floor. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid. I have read Educated by Teresa, but I read this not that long ago, like a couple months ago. I did enjoy this. I, I, here's the thing. I feel like this book is a little bit of a lie because you go into it thinking like, not that I'm saying she's lying. <laughs> Okay. What I'm saying is, you know, you go into thinking this is going to be about how she wasn't educated as a child and then she like becomes educated on her own growing up. And really this is a story of familial abuse and her journey through that. The education part of this is a really small part of it to me. And a part that was like a little bit unexplained. Like she just like got into Oxford and I just, I feel like... <laughs> There, it doesn't go much into detail. She kind of goes, I did this, then I did this, then I did this, and like kind of talks through her academic journey, but I feel like doesn't really go into depth on her journey through that as someone who hadn't been educated at home. Like it kind of, it, like everything just happens. And I know that's not how it happened in life, but that how that's how it reads, you know? There's not enough depth around that. When really, yeah, this is a story about the abuse that she suffered as a child. And I think that part of it is really powerful, but it wasn't what I expected, but I've read it. Yes! Oh. You are so strong. You are so strong. Your mind is so strong. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You but yeah, glad that I finally got around to this because again, this is one of the oldest books on my TBR. There's only a few books on my TBR still that have been there since I started my channel, which is like four years ago. Is that four years? Have I been doing it three or four years? I think four years. God, I'm getting old, that's scary. I still feel new on booktube, I still feel like a newbie <laughs> in my brain, because there's all these people who I love watching who've been doing it much longer than me. So I still feel like a little baby, but like, that's not a little baby, really? Four years I've been doing it, bloody hell. So this is one of the only, because I remember buying this and it was when I was in my first flat in Leeds. I remember taking a photo of it. <laughs> We're going towards my Watson's gift card and buying this book. And um, yeah, that was when I was in my first flat in Leeds, which was before I started my channel. So crazy. There's only a few left on my TBR that I've had that long and I would like to tick them all off. That would be quite satisfying to like have read every book that has been on my TBR since I started my channel. Right, for most excited, I'm still so excited to read Girl in the Walls by AJ Ganusse. I've been, she's only gone and read it. She's only gone and read it. Did I read that in the same video as I read Educated? I did. I did read it in the same video. That was Wrapped Up Rejects, wasn't it? Yes, okay, where is that? The Girl in the Walls by AJ Ganusse. Okay, we've read four. Oh my God, Megan, this is impeccable. So yeah, Girl in the Walls by AJ Ganusse. I read in the same video as Educated, Wrapped Up Rejects. What a coincidence! how amazing. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you, is it a coincidence? Again, this one was one that I'd been really excited to read for a long time and it wasn't quite a five. It was like a 3.754, I'd call it. It's a very unique book. It's about this girl who lives in the walls of this house. And it's more of like a literary mystery, I would say. It's more got this slow plot, this kind of beautiful, but like gently beautiful writing. It's not over the top with its prose, but I really did enjoy the reading experience of reading it. It's a very unique book. And I wouldn't recommend this to people who are looking for like a thriller thriller or like a whodunit mystery. Like I said, it's a literary mystery and it was a, it was an enjoyable reading experience, but it's very unique and I don't think everyone's gonna love it. It's really a story about grief and belonging and family and all these things, but it's not fast paced. It's very, very slow back, but I've read it. Okay, next we have Pine by Francine Toon. I've read it. I've read Pine, I've read Pine. Okay, 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 where the fuck is Pine? There it is. Um, I have read Pine by Francine Toon. I read this again, like last month. And again, I enjoyed this. It was, it's a very, again, it's very slow horror this time. Well, horror, mystery, paranormal book. I loved the setting in the Scottish Highlands. I thought it was such a unique setting, but it is definitely not a book for everyone. I can see why it, cause I read this for my lowest rated, highest rated horror. And this is the lowest rated on my TBR. I can see why not everyone loves it. Again, I think you should only go into this if you're looking for like a slow book. On the back it says it's pacey, not in my opinion. <laughs> in the, also in my opinion, it either needed to be shorter or longer. It either needs to be a novella or it needed like another 50 pages. I don't think quite, it's a debut and I think maybe just the pacing wasn't quite correct. But I have read it. Is that five I've read now? Oh my God, okay. All right, we're doing all right. 
I thought there was eight, but there's 10 books. Okay, so we've got two more. And this is another book that I've owned since I started my booktube channel and still haven't read. And it's been highly recommended to me by my mum. My mum read it. People that I follow, like booktubers have since read it, like Kayla's read it. I've owned this since I started my channel. Three years I've owned this and still haven't read it, but I'm so excited to. And it's Biased, The New Science <laughs> of Race and Inequality by Jennifer Eberhardt. <laughs> I have not read Biased. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. It's one of the oldest books on my TBR. Where is that? We keep having this problem where I just don't know where any of my books are. Oh no, please don't. Okay, I found it, but at what cost? <laughs> I have not read Biased, The New Science of Race and Inequality by Jennifer Eberhardt. Again, this is one of the oldest books on my TVR. <laughs> are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. My mum read and loved this in like 2018, 2019. <laughs> Oh gosh, and I have wanted to read this ever since. Basically it is about unconscious bias and how that shapes every part of our systems. And it doesn't that sound incredible. And since I have owned this for four years, lots of other people have read this. I know Kayla read and loved this. Um, she hasn't read it. <laughs> By she, I mean me. I think I'm gonna love this. I think I'm gonna give it five stars. I think this is gonna be a non-fiction that I find, particularly it, because it comes from a scientific background, I find makes all its points completely, which was the issue I had with Unwell Women. You know, I think because if you come from a scientific background, I remember when I did my science GCSE coursework, you really had to make and complete your point. So I'm hoping that everything is gonna be like really well-rounded and like really expanded upon and go into depth. I've heard wonderful things about it but I haven't read it. That's really embarrassing. I've owned this for four years, over four years really, because I've been to my channel for four years, but I owned this for like probably at least six months before that. So we're coming up to five with it on the TBR. Yeah, okay, we've got to read that. We've got to read that soon. But then that is gonna, I'm gonna give you a little clue guys, the series that I'm doing in December. This is prime candidate for that. And then finally, I'm putting a series on here. I'm putting the next installment in a series on here because I have to read it. I don't know if any of you all know this book. It's The Jeweled Moth, the second in the Sinclair Mysteries by Catherine Woodfine. Did Where the hell is that book? Oh. Oh, I found it, I found it. It's so dusty on top. <sighs> <laughs> I have not read The Jeweled Moth, the, Sinclair, the second in the Sinclair Mysteries by Catherine Woodfine. This is like 1910s mysteries, um, they're middle grade. It's from a video I did where I've been doing my channel less than a year. And I read, I started three middle grade series in that video. I have not made progress in a single one of those middle grade series. Much to think about, yeah. I did not plan on losing anything. I lost. But I'm determined, I loved all those first books. Well, not loved, I really enjoyed all those first books in these middle grade series, and I'm determined to continue on with them. I really want to continue on with this one because it's historical mysteries. Like, it's like my favorite thing. I really want to continue on. Like, it's got these cute little illustrations in them. I mean, look, I want to continue on with it. God, this video has got me looking bedraggled. I'm going through it a little bit, guys. I can't. I'm going through it. This video is putting me through it. But yes, I haven't read this yet. So if I haven't read this by February, I have to unhaul. Wow. Okay. We can do it, guys. <laughs> we can do it. So out of that list, I had read five and not read five. And these are the five I had not read. Now, I would be unhappy to unhaul the cousins and the wife between us. I would not be unhappy to unhaul these three, particularly these two, particularly biased and the trees crept in. And particularly those two, I would not be happy to unhaul. So we're gonna save them. But if I've not read them by the time I've done that second video in February, um, we have to unhaul them. So we'll see how I do. Like there could be a five star among these, who knows? There could be multiple, I don't think there's gonna be multiple. Well, those two are five star predictions, actually. These three, maybe three star predictions at best. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry that I'm, you know, copping out a bit, but I do still wanna do this video again, maybe at some point next year, these books will self-destruct in a year, which I know sounds crazy, but I know better now. Like I used to always do this with my year long TBRs, was like I'd put books on there to challenge myself that I'm never gonna read. Like I put classics on there that like it's very unlikely I'm gonna read. Now I know to be realistic. I've been burnt too many times. So next time I do this, I'm actually gonna be realistic with like books that, Sure, I want to read, but like I wouldn't care if I had to unhaul them. I can already think of a few where I'd be like, okay, if I have to unhaul that, that's okay. Because at the end of the day, I do need to make space on my TBR and I do need to get rid of some of the books that have been languishing on my TBR. Like, if I haven't read a book for five years, 
you know. Non-fiction I feel like gets a bit of a pass because I, I struggle to get around to non-fiction, but if like The Wife Between Us, that's a quick thriller, if I haven't read this for four years, it needs to get gone. You know what I mean? So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you're mad at me that I'm not unhauling them straight away, although I am unhauling them, but just some of them are perfect for videos I got coming up, guys. They're just perfect. They're perfect. I need them to make up the numbers. And let me know what you thought of any of the books that had been on this list. Like I said, I'm reading half, I'm okay with, but I'm not unhauling in the tree script in. There's things I can do and that is not one of them. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye.